Hi guys, it's the Misty Lady, and I am at everybody's favorite store, Walmart. And we are gonna look at Walmart makeup. So I am going to turn my camera around, and I will be talking in the background. Let's look at some makeup in Walmart. I'm gonna start with mascara and show you some of my favorites. This Volume Express Maybelline Colossal Cat Eye Mascara with that shaped brush. I'm telling you guys, that is an awesome, awesome mascara. And it's $5.94. You know, I'm a big mascara queen and I love my high-end mascaras, but that is one of the best to have as like a second mascara. When you do your bougie mascara, then you put that on the sides. Um, I absolutely love, love, love this mascara it is so good um so let's see what else we got we're going to walk down the aisle and see what else we got. guys now we're where the brushes are and i love 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 real technique brushes i've showed you those the ones i have before i actually have two of the big ones this is their set um, not bad for 13 dollars orange and in pink love 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 real techniques they even have the little cleaning tray um just love it we have a nice set here. They have the Real Techniques makeup sponges. Um, these two are $9.24, so they're not real cheap. One of them's $4.88, but it's still a lot better than um, the uh, you know ones that are ridiculously priced. So, yes, very nice. And then these brushes are kind of interesting. These are called Moda Prismatic. This is a seven-piece, but and it's not cheap. Seventeen bucks. It's really pretty. Um, don't really know much about it and how it's going to work, but like I said, it's not cheap. And then, of course, I love the Eco Tools. See, I would rather get this for ten dollars because I know this brand. I don't know that modern, that Moda Prismatic. If anybody does, let me know. Let me know what you think of it. Like I said, it looks pretty. Beauty Blender. Couldn't think of the name. So yeah, the Beauty Blenders are way more expensive. I think one Beauty Blender, brand name Beauty Blender, is like 15 bucks, and one of the Real Techniques is only 4.88. And I love theirs. And they have the pack. Precision Beauty has the pack for 8.93. Um, and I have used this brand before, and it's very, very good. Um, like I said, some things you don't have to pay a lot of money for, guys. And you with the brushes look so Revlon has this new um, new Nouveau brush and it's 10 bucks it is 10 bucks for this one brush hmm and then they have this little set beauty blender one that has a handle on it which I've never seen and then it's got the replacement top and that is nine dollars so Revlon definitely stepping up the game don't know how good they are I don't know do I want to purchase one and try it I don't know hmm Decisions, decisions. Some of these off brands and doing a whole makeup day with some of these off brands. Here's Hard Candy, which I have not tried, honestly. I have not tried the Hard Candy brand. Um, but um, yeah, look. It's called Whatever Bold Shine Liqueur. Look at, oh, it kind of looks like. It kind of looks like Kylie's packaging. Or does Kylie's packaging look like theirs? Hmm. We have to do some research. I'm not really sure. But look at that. Very interesting. And then, of course, we have the whole e.l.f. section. What do you guys think of e.l.f. products? I, personally, am not a big fan. But if you want, I will purchase some and do an e.l.f. review. Um, I just haven't really found anything that I'm a big fan of. I would like to try some of their brushes, though, but, you know, $10 for one brush. They're not that cheap, guys. And their Beauty Blender is $5. Um, but the e.l.f. stuff I have tried in the past, I wasn't a fan of, but maybe I need to um, reacquaintance myself with e.l.f. They got a lot of brushes, a lot, a lot, a lot of brushes. Are they better than my Wet n Wild brushes? I don't know. Look it. They got some pretty palettes down here. Hmm. What do you think? Hi, guys. So one of the things that I promised I would do when I created a YouTube channel was I was going to get personal 
and let people inside of my life a little bit because I think that when you have a YouTube channel, especially when you're talking one-on-one -on -one like I am, that sometimes people want to see your world a little bit. So I'm going to show and share some of my world with you. And if you're not interested, I get it. And if you are, I hope you watch and enjoy. So what I'm going to do for just a couple of minutes is turn the camera around and talk over and show you a little bit of my favorite place in the whole entire world and in my house, which is my art room. So let me turn the camera around. All right, guys. Well, this is my art room. It used to be, as you can tell, the room where we kept a lot of videos and DVDs, and I still have those in there, but the rest of it is my art room. Um, you know, I paint and draw, and if you don't, I do. Here is my latest painting I am working on. So this is going to be acrylic on canvas. And what I like to do is I like to outline first and then I start painting it. So she is a work in progress. I also have up on my wall, this is not my artwork. This is one of my favorite artists that I found through Facebook. Her name is Renee Lavoy, and these are all of her pictures. She does beautiful um, fairies. I made the frames or I decorated the frames. This is one of her fairies, one of her mermaids, which I love. So I just decorate it. And this one is very special because that is actually one of her original works of art, which I'm so excited. And I love all things Halloween. So I got her, I have to like that, her pretty um, witch that I purchased. That's a print and I decorated the frame. And that was actually the first mermaid from hers that I bought. And I decorated that frame with sea glass. And I just love, love, love her. That's the kind of art that I like to do, obviously. So I'm going to just spin around. I love incense. Is there anybody out there that is a incense person? I love, love, whoops. So is there anyone out there that is into incense? I love incense. I have got so much of it just scattered around. I also really love candles. That is my creativity candle. I believe in mantras and taking a deep breath. And yeah, I just come in here, I light my candle. So I'll show you a little bit of the rest of my wall. I'm a huge Marvel fan. So, and I love Doctor Strange. So that's my Doctor Strange. I'm also a big fan of butterflies. So I have a um, piece of uh, butterfly art right there from um, Jessica Gulbreth, who I'm a big fan of. And this is a piece of art that I got from a young lady at a uh, comic book convention that I went to. This is one of my pieces of art. That's a painting that I did a while ago of like a kind of like an 80s girl. And if you've ever heard of the artist Nagel, look him up. Nagel, Nagel, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. He's from the 80s and he did a lot of stuff like that. I'm also a huge Supernatural fan. We've talked about that. There's my boys on my wall. And I'm going to bring it over. And here is, this wall is blank because I'm going to add some art to it. And you guys know I always record in this room. So you see some of the pictures in the background. Not all of it is my art. Um, this one is called Black Magic. And that is by Jessica Gulbreth, who is a fantasy artist who did a lot of dark art. And then she changed. And now she does more like angels and stuff. Um, but I kind of liked when she did the dark art. This picture right here of this, I know you see the ring light, but let me see if I shut it off. That'll be better. Yeah, just a light from the camera now. This is by an artist that I found on Instagram, and I bought her art, and she sent me a cute little card. That's her name, Anna. Um, she, I believe, is from Russia, and I love her art, and I created this frame to go with it. So beautiful. Um, then this is my piece of art that um, Renee Lavoy that I just showed you, my other artist that I love. Um, I kind of did the fan art of one of them, the mermaids that she made, kind of in the same pose, but I made my mermaid look different. So this is my my kind of tribute to her, uh, mermaid on canvas, um, that I just changed the colors of the mermaid. Her mermaid had red hair. I gave mine black and blue. So this is my original artwork behind glass, and I absolutely love her. I think she's so pretty. And then, of course, you guys all know my misty lady. Um, she is up on my wall. She's one of my first paintings that I did with some sparkles in it. 
And then I have these three. This is by an artist, and his name is Hadley, Mark Hadley. Look at that butterfly. These are all prints. This one up here is like a creepy, like, ghost girl. I love it. And then look at this gorgeous one he did. I found Mark Hadley from the uh, Comic-Con conventions that I go to a lot. And he is always there. And he is one of my favorite artists. So I always try to buy a piece of his print. I wish I could get an original, but he's expensive, which I don't blame him. And I also love mermaids. So, yeah, what do you know about the Misty Lady? I love horror, Halloween, mermaids, fairies, butterflies. Love all that stuff. Here is a kind of a cool vinyl mermaid print that I got off of Wish. Anybody shop from Wish? Um, and I kind of like that. It's very cool looking. And then this was actually a friend of mine. And she um, gave me that mermaid. She's really cool with music notes behind her. And then here is another Jessica Galbraith. Look how pretty that is with the two mermaids. Yes. And I love dragons. I have my dragon. You guys know I love my Buddha. Love my mermaid. You guys, anybody have the store five below? Everything's five dollars and below. I got how cute is this? This is actually a bank. It's not cracked. That's just like smudge on it. It's not cracked, I swear to God. But this is a bank. But I just love the fact that it said save the mermaids. How cool is that? And then if we come over here, the butterflies on my wall were done by my very, very best friend, Kat. And um, she created the butterflies and I created the frames. I also like anything that sparkles. Can you tell? I'm a huge sparkle fan. How cute is this? This little kitty cat. That's my, I have an incense burner. This little kitty cat on the moon was my daughter's, my baby that just had her 24th birthday since she was a little girl and I just couldn't get rid of it. My incense burner with my incense. I love it. And like I said, I love Halloween, and I like to keep some Halloween stuff out all year round. So that's my little witch with her little candle holder. Huge fan of candles. Love Yankee Candle. And this is Pacelli, which is my favorite, favorite scent. This gorgeous piece of art um, is by a girl. Her name is Hannah, and I found her on Facebook. And this is an original piece of art, Hannah Claire, that she created just for me. Gorgeous butterflies with the moon. Um... Yeah, I custom, you know, printed that. I commissioned her. Couldn't think of the words. So I love that. This, I know you guys are like, who cares? This is from when I got married so many years ago. This was actually at my wedding shower. I kept that. You guys are like, what? That's a picture of me and my baby. That's me and my daughter Jazz when she was a baby. Oh, my gosh. More candles for creativity just so that I am calm. And of course, from five below, look how cool. I love it. Five bucks for this, this like pretty sparkly lava lamp. So yeah, I'm just giving you in a sneak peek world of the Misty Lady. This is my art table where all the magic happens. All my, it's a little messy now because when I create, I get messy. So here's all my gorgeous paints, my painting I'm working on, all my beautiful brushes. Hot glue gun, got to have a hot glue gun. And just, I just, this room is just filled with boxes of arts and crafts. And that brings me over to this. This is a little spare bed. Oh, that's my artwork on the pillow. So this little spare bed, my friends, is all of my giveaway stuff for you guys. So you're putting up with me rattling on about my favorite art room. So I'm going to do a giveaway. So I'm going to look in one of these bags and find out what I can give away. Let's see what I got. Hi guys, so I'm just splicing a fun video together today, but I am going to have a giveaway. But before that, oh, let me get my Jeffree Star mirror and one of my favorite Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lips. This one is called Gemini. And just excuse me a minute while I put it on. Love this color. Love my Jeffrey mirror. No matter what you say about him, he has got the best velour liquid lips on the market, I think. Especially when it dries, this stuff ain't moving anywhere. So, yes, let me have a little sip of my coffee because I'm one hot mama. 
My daughter gave me this cup. Mmm. All right, so I took you guys into Walmart. I spliced this video together. I showed you my beautiful art room, taking you into a little bit of the personal world of the Misty Lady. But I have a giveaway. It's so special, and I hope you love it. So I want to show it to you. So if you can read what that says, make each day count. And I firmly, firmly believe that. So let's open it up. It is beautiful candles because I told you guys I love candles. And it says make each day count. And there's two of them. And oh my God, the smell is just very pretty, very light, very crisp. And it's just gorgeous. This set is just so beautiful and so gorgeous. And I would like to give it away. It's brand new. Just got it. Sticker price is still on the back. Um, so yeah, if you would love to win this beautiful candle set and this, I'm trying to think of what the name of the scent is, if it has it on here and I don't see it, but it's just, um, I know some scents can be very personal. This is just a very, just a light, crispy, airy smell. It's nothing too heavy or too perfumey. Um, so I would like to give this away to somebody out there. Make each day count because that's what you need to do. You need to make each day count, even if you're feeling depressed or anxiety, which I get all the time, guys. I get depression, I get anxiety, and the way that I deal with it is through my art. You can see my painting, I start, I just, when I'm starting to feel like that, I come in this room, I have a, a good old fashioned CD player because I have so many CDs with like meditative music and just relaxing, and I just put my music on, get my Jeffree Star mirror, put my lipstick on, no, just kidding. I Seriously though, I put my music on, and I just draw or paint, even if it's not that good. I mean, some of the things I do, I'll do and be like, oh, that really wasn't that good. It's just the therapeutic part of the whole process of drawing or painting. So you have to find out there, you have to find out there what makes you um, find that inner peace and be really calm when you are having those days of just, you can't take it, you're stressed. And, and I hope that whoever watches this channel, I hope it's a total age range of all different ages from teenagers to girls in their 20s or young ladies in their 20s to women in your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, 60s, who cares? Age is just a state of mind. And I always say, if you think you're old, then you are. And you, I've even known some young old people, do you know what I mean? Like they're 20 and they act like it's like, wow, you know? So yeah, you definitely have to find something that makes you happy. Even if you feel like you don't have a particular skill and you can't paint or draw or what if you do like to color? There's so many coloring books out there. I just think that doing something creative is huge. I can see the ring light in my glasses. I think that's so funny. Um, but anyway, so I am going to wrap this up and just like I said, just find something in your life that you enjoy, that you could take a break from the daily stress of whatever is going on in your world because you definitely deserve it. So if you would like to win the pretty candle set, which I love, I'm so excited to give this away. Um, remember to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, notification button, comment down below and leave me either your Instagram account or your email address. If you don't feel like leaving any of that stuff, um, just DM me on my Instagram, at the Misty Lady, privately. Um, but yeah, if you wanna enter the giveaway for the candles, please leave a comment below and let me know. Tell me a little bit about yourself. What, what stress do you have in your life? What do you do to relieve the stress? Even if it's just listening to music, putting on your headphones and listening to your favorite whatever, rap, hip hop, rock, metal, whatever you like. Um, let me know about. And I have some more fun things coming up. I'm a huge Halloween fan. Anybody else out there love Halloween? Because I'm going to have some Halloween giveaways. I love, love Halloween. And I'm going to decorate my house. I'm a little crazy. So I decorate my house for the whole entire month of September and October with fall and Halloween stuff. Because here in Florida, we don't get the fall weather. So I like it to bring it inside of my house. So I'm going to take you on a trip with me and we're going to decorate my house together. We're going to have so much fun. So comment, comment, comment down below, you guys. Your comments are so, so important to me. Uh, I hope whatever you're doing today that you're having a great and wonderful day and I will see you really soon. Thank you. Take care.